And there's another issue. Christians have cited the Bible to argue why this decision about abortion should uh, either be celebrated or, or, or discarded. But here's the problem. This 2,000-year-old text we call the Bible says nothing about abortion. Abortions were known and practiced in biblical times, although the methods were significantly different from the, what we do today. Yet they still existed. And the Bible was written in a world in which abortion was practiced and viewed uh, with some nuance. Yet, the Hebrew and Greek equivalents of the word abortion do not appear in either the Old or New Testaments of the Bible. That is, the topic of abortion simply is not directly mentioned. The absence of an explicit reference to abortion, however, has not stopped opponents or proponents from looking to the Bible for support for their positions. Abortion opponents turn to several biblical texts that, taken together, seem to suggest that human life has value before birth, such as uh, what what's recorded in the book of Psalms uh, 139, which states that God knit together uh, uh, the rider in his mother's womb. Supporters can point to other biblical texts that would seem to count as evidence in their favor. For example, Exodus 21 suggests that a pregnant woman's life is more valuable than its fetus. This text describes a scenario in which men who are fighting, the men who are fighting, if they happen to strike a pregnant woman and cause her to miscarry, in that case, a monetary fine would be imposed if the woman suffers no other harm beyond the, beyond the miscarriage. However, if the woman suffers additional harm, the perpetrator's punishment is to suffer uh, harm up to and for life. Unlike abortion, 